Hey everyone, this is Kamla Akshi. I'm the product consultant at AICNC. To be able to send messages to more than 50 unique users per day, you'll need to get your Facebook Business Manager ID verified. In this video, I'll guide you how to get your Facebook Business Manager ID verified. Once you get your Facebook Business Manager ID verified, you can send WhatsApp messages to 1000 10000 1 lakh or even unlimited unique users per day using WhatsApp business API via AI Sensei platform. So let's start with the requirements that you need to be ready with before we start your Facebook business manager ID verification. You need to be ready with the website's URL, business email ID which of course contains your company's domain that is related to your website's URL and official document which contains the company's legal name and the address. We highly recommend you to use the GST certificate or bank statement or electricity bill. If you do not have any GST certificate then we recommend you to use bank statement or electricity bill. It's better to use the GST certificate if you have that. You can also use your company registration document but it should be a document which contains the legal name and the address in the same document also you need to do one thing the legal name mentioned in the doc should be mentioned on your website footer section as well i'm sharing the copyright format which you can use with your legal name in the footer section of your website once you're ready with your website business email id document like gst and the footer section of your website we are good to go with the facebook business manager id verification let's check whether your facebook business manager id is verified or not i'm sharing the link with you You can go through that link and check if it is verified or not in the business verification status. Then you can start applying for WhatsApp Business API by connecting with this Facebook Business Manager ID which is already verified if you haven't applied for WhatsApp Business API yet. But if the business verification status shows as unverified, then we need to start with some steps to get the Facebook Business Manager ID verified. Now, let's jump to the Security Center option on the left panel of your Facebook Business Manager. In this page either you will see the verification box with the start verification button or you will not see any box under the two factor authentication section in most of the cases the box is not there if you have the verification box and start verification button is activated meaning you can click on that button then you're good to go with the verification process and you can go to the next chapter where i have explained the process of facebook business manager id verification If you do not find any verification box then there are some steps that need to be followed in order to get that box to be presented over there now i'm sharing the steps to get your start verification button and then i'll show how to get your facebook business manager id verified the first step here is to go to apps under account section then click on add and create a new app id if create a new app id is enabled then you can directly click on that and On the next pop-up, select business and click on next. In case the create a new app ID is disabled, you can put a cursor on the lock icon and click on confirm account. Then a new dialog box will open and you have to click on continue and then create a new app ID. Then select business as the app type and click on next. Next, add the brand name in the display name and enter the business email ID. Then select an account and click on create app. Enter your Facebook password now and submit that. Now you will enter the Facebook developers app dashboard. On the left hand side, click on app review, permissions and features. Now type live on the search permissions and features bar. You will see the live video API in the options. Click on request advanced access which will be on the right hand side of the live video API. After clicking on request advanced access, click on continue request. If you are unable to find the request advanced access option in the live video API, just move a cursor to the right side and you'll find the request advanced access button and then click on continue request. Then the screen will be refreshed and after scrolling down you can see the option to review your app settings. Just click on that review your app settings and we have to fill the details over here. App icon can be added in the later stages. Firstly, you have to enter your website's URL. I prefer you to copy and paste the website's URL in the privacy policy URL and choose a category as business and pages and click on save. Now, for adding the app icon, go to settings on the left panel and click on basic. Now, in the app icon, add any square image with a transparent background, preferably your logo or any other image. Basically, It's just a work around to get your start verification button activated. You can use this image link which I'm sharing right now 
download it and upload this image in the app icon. Once the icon is added, scroll down till last, click on add platform, select website and click on next. Copy and paste your website's URL in the website section. Now click on save changes. Once the changes are saved, on the left panel, go to app review, then request and click on edit. Then complete your verification by clicking on provide verification details. Now write one line about your company. It can be any line and just copy the line and save it. Now click on how will your app use the advanced access live video API feature and paste the same line which you have copied from the last step. Now here you have to upload a video of 5 to 10 seconds for which again I'm sharing the link with you and you can download the video and use that video by uploading it. Once the video is uploaded, tick mark on the checkbox given and approve it and then save it. Then click on submit for review and enter the password. Once it is submitted for review, you have to go to security center on your Facebook business manager. I'm sharing the link for that as well. In this page, you'll be able to see the verification box with the start verification button activated. Now let's start with your Facebook business manager verification process. Once you find the start verification button, click on start verification and in the pop-up, click on get started, select your country and click on next. Now enter the exact details mentioned in the official document, which is preferably GST certificate, bank statement or incorporation certificate. If the document contains uppercase letters, then you should also use the uppercase letters while typing in the name of the business or the address. In the name field, copy and paste the legal name of your business from the doc which you'll be using in the next steps. In the address field, copy and paste the exact address from the legal document and make sure to fill all the fields like address line 1, address line 2, town or city, state and even PIN code. In the mobile number, you can use any working phone number. It can be or cannot be your WhatsApp business API number but it should be a working phone number. In the website's URL, copy and paste your website's URL and then click on next. In the next step, Facebook will suggest some matching organizations. If any organization seems to be matching, please make sure the legal name and the address is same as mentioned in the legal document. And make sure the phone number is also available because Facebook will send an OTP on that number. The better way here is to click on my organization isn't listed and click on next. Now upload the same documents in both the sections from which you have entered the details, preferably your GST certificate, bank statement or any incorporation certificate which you have used. Also make sure to upload the same documents in both the sections and click on next. Now choose email verification method since the success rate is very high with this option. You just need to enter your business email ID and you'll receive a code on that ID. Now you'll have to enter the code and click on done. So now your Facebook business manager ID is in review now. It generally takes one to three days to get verified, but sometimes it does get verified within a couple of hours. Now you can check the Facebook business manager status with the link provided and even sometimes Facebook even sends an email regarding verification. If the status is in review, even after three days, you can raise a support ticket to Facebook at support at meta.com or you can connect with our team. So this was the process to get your Facebook business manager ID verified. Once your Facebook business manager ID is verified, your messaging limit will increase from 50 unique users per day to 1000 unique users per day. In our next video, you can even see that how to send messages to unlimited unique users per day. If you still haven't applied for WhatsApp Business API, then apply it right now via AI Sensei for free. Thanks for watching this video and start using AI Sensei platform to drive 25 to 60% revenue using WhatsApp. Thanks a lot. Stay tuned for more informative content.